So on this episode, we're going to talk about light jets and which light jet should you buy today? Now, this is probably a question you've been asking yourself. Welcome to BizJet TV. If you have never been here before, uh, lots of videos, 430 plus videos here on BizJet TV, all about business aviation. So spend some time to have a look around, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, get the algorithm, uh, letting people know about BizJet TV. My name is Fabrizio Pond, I'm your host and aviation advisor. So let's delve into what there is out there today. Now, you can either go for a very older jet, like an older Cessna Citation or maybe a Learjet, um, there are always problems when you're buying really, really old aircraft. Uh, you've got to be careful on, you know, a spare parts going to be available. Um, make sure you do a very thorough pre-buy inspection on the aircraft. You don't want any, you know, surprises. Um, and you want to see about the avionics. Has this got ADS-B? Can I upgrade the avionics? Um, you know, just be, be a bit more careful when you're going for the older ones. But, you know, on the, the newer models that are out there, there's some interesting things out there from the Citation CJ1234 series, uh, the Honda Jet, the Phenom 100 and 300 built by Embraer, and the Pilatus PC24. Uh, these are kind of the main ones that are out there today. Uh, the Citation series and Cessna has been around for a long time. Uh, they're the oldest uh, um, kid on the block on this one. Uh, been very successful. Uh, good aeroplane, uh, the CJ4, uh, just under 2,000 mile range. Um, interesting. Uh, a lot of people compare, should I buy a Phenom 300 to a CJ4? So we'll talk about these two aircraft initially. And um, now the CJ4 can carry nine passengers compared to seven passengers you get on the Phenom 300. Um, the disadvantage of the CJ4 is you have to load the bags in through the cabin. And there is a little bit in the nose where you can put some bags uh, while the Phenom 300 has a baggage compartment at the back where you can put your bags. It also has a flushing toilet, uh, the, the, the Phenom does, the Phenom 300, which the CJ4 does not have. Um, so that's another advantage there. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people like the Citation. Uh, it's very, very reliable airplane. Uh, Cessna are, are way behind these airplanes, so it's not difficult to get spare parts and get the airplanes fixed because you've always got to remember that when you do buy an airplane, it's a bit like a car. They do break from time to time, and what you want to find out is can you get this thing fixed quickly and get back into the air. Now, a lot of people look at costs and try and compare costs, but you know, uh, when you're buying a private jet, it's more about time. So time is the enemy of the rich man, as they say, and cost is the enemy of the poor man. So, you know, while some people do sit there and try and spreadsheet the difference between one airplane and the other, uh, what I recommend you do is more look at, you know, the, the experience on the aircraft. So look at the performance. Can it land at shorter airfields or not? The range, uh, the cabin experience. What's the cabin layout? Does it have a toilet, flush toilet or not? Where do I put my bags? How many bags can I get into the aircraft? What's, what are the avionics like up front? Uh, are they easy user friendly? I mean, is the airplane single pilot or not? Because you may be a pilot owner, so you're thinking of buying an aircraft and flying it yourself. Um, the CJ4 is single pilot, so is the Phenom 300, so is the Honda Jet, so is the Pilatus PC24. So these are kind of the things that you have to be looking at more than the cost. Um, because yes, they do vary, but you know, between five to 10%, but it's more the experience that I think you need to look for. Now, if we look at the Honda Jet, for example, compared to these other two, it has a little bit less range. Um, then uh, we're talking about 1200 nautical mile range on the Honda jet. Uh, people like the Honda jet and um, all the pilot owners that I know the operator said they're very, very quiet inside because having the engines on top of the wing, um, it's very, very quiet cabin. So out of all these s small uh, jets, light jets, it's the quietest. Um, and it's beginning more and more popularity and Honda looking now building the Honda 2600, which is going to have more range and a larger cabin. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see when that hits the market. And then, of course, we've got Pilatus with their PC-24. Very unique aircraft because it lands on grass or unpaved runways. It's got this large cargo door at the back, uh, which is handy for those of you that like skiing, fishing, or you've got equipment and stuff to move <clears throat> with your jet. Uh, so the PC-24 is very popular. It's a lot pricier than the others because um, we're talking about $10, $11 million to buy one. You can get some on the pre-owned market. Uh, there aren't many out there. Uh, because the owners are quite happy with, with what they've got. Uh, you can expect to spend about just over 10 million for a pre-owned uh, PC-24 these days. Well, if you're looking for Citation CJ4, about seven to $8 million. On the Phenom 300, we're talking about six to $8 million is the kind of the price. And then the Honda Jet, you can get one for under $5 million. So the Honda Jets are uh, probably the cheapest option out of them to, to acquire, but bear in mind, it's got a lot less range. The Pilatus PC-24 has a 2,000 mile range just like the Phenom 300 
and the CJ4. So range wise, they've got more range. The Honda Jet has less range. Uh, but you know, if you're <coughs> doing short hops and you don't want a lot of noise in the cabin, also the Honda Jet has a flush toilet as well. So these are kind of the, 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 the pros and cons uh, of all these aircraft. But you know, as I always say, uh, let's get specific. Um, I encourage you to reach out to me. Let's get on a call and uh, let me find more about your business, where you want to go, where you intend to land with this airplane and that, and see if we can find the best match for you. But, you know, a lot of the times it, it does turn out to be, you know, you go, you sit in these different aircraft, which one do you prefer? Or alternatively, uh, one good idea is to charter these aircraft, charter Honda Jet, charter uh, Pilatus PC-24, charter Fino 300, charter CJ-4, um, and see which which one you prefer. Um, that's really a, a good way to start. And I can help you with charters. I can help you with acquisitions. I suggest let's just get on a call. Let's talk about what you intend to do um, as far as purchasing a light jet. Let me see what I can do to help you. And uh, remember to subscribe to Bizjet TV and check out this video I did recently about the Honda Jet 2600, which is coming to the market soon. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on Bizjet TV. And I'll see you in the next one.